Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we'll be reviewing Bubble Wheel Hells from the NASCAR line. Sorry I haven't been able to post that many videos just because I've been really, really busy with a bunch of stuff. I did pre-record a bunch of videos, but I never even released them because, well, I had a few issues of like trying to trying to do some assignments and try to do homework try to finish it on time but we got most of that out of the way but i hope you guys understand so let's just get on onto the um packaging of bubble wheel house from the nascar line so as you can see the sponsor is eh, is tweaked a little bit it's not called torque berry juice as you can see don't know why pick why Mattel decided to change the sponsor. Maybe because people probably thought that NASCAR did not want Bubble Wheelhouse as as um the Transbury Juice Racer anymore. That's why he had not been released since two thousand seven since two thousand eighteen. But that ain't the case because he's being re released this year in a five pack and maybe as a single. We just don't know yet. About the single. But we do know about the fight pack. But it has not been found yet. But. I don't even have a bubble wheelhouse myself. So. I'll just have to settle with the NASCAR version for now. Until I get a regular version. But yeah. Bubble wheelhouse has become one of the most. Desirable ones of them all. And then we have Lightning McQueen. With those new tires. The new rims. for That NASCAR is using. New for 2022. And then we have the metal logo, and as you as you know that the new 2022 no the the 2022 line now has the blisters not in this type of format but more like the international packaging where it's just a mold of the car and then just plaster on it. People have said that they don't like it like that, but I'm perfectly fine. As in the back here, there are some other releases which. Okay, no one cares about him. I don't really like him. Eric and Rowling. Gogo Logano. Laney McQueen with the new rims. And then we got Danny Suarez. And the new upcoming release of Rowdy and Revin Bush. Which ha has been found. And I hope I can get my hands on it. I think it's been found because I've seen one person that has reviewed it. I hope I can find this one. I would really love to get this one. But anyways, let's get on to the opening of the wheelhouse, shall we? Alright, set that thing on the side. Take out bubble and take out his pet stop barrier. And as you can see, let me try to zoom in. Wow, it looks amazing. As you can see that this bubble wheelhouse is different from the original version, of course. But I do not have an original version of bubble wheelhouse. But, but you may know the differences. First of all, now, now, he's, um, now the company has evolved to torque berry juice for this NASCAR version. Don't know why, but that's something weird to say, but okay. And then, so the eyes are different. Of course, they're a bit more closer, and they have that Vietnam-esque look. And they have TJ, meaning torque berry juice, or back then as it used to be called, transberry juice. And then, yeah, it's his air vents. And then he got his, his mustache. On the sides here, now he has those new, those new light year tire rims, which I'm actually a, a pretty good fan of. But you know what? It settles for the NASCAR line because they're trying to keep it similar to what's going on for NASCAR right now. Then his contingency sponsors, or if we can focus it, ah, uh, there you go. Let me go, let me go a bit closer. Trying to focus it. Alright, so his contingency sponsors say the Piston Cup 
combustor carbon cyber and synergy number 23 which his original number was 26 but now bubble bubble wallace's number is now 23 in the nascar an actual nascar and then he has bubbles to represent the juice and then now we have this new spawn the new logo for the company involvement toward berry juice we have a gas cap on the roof 23 same thing on the other side but i thought the gas cap two window bars and then we have toward berry juice and then on the back there are no rookie straights because Bubba Wheelhouse is now a veteran and not a rookie anymore. 23, Toward Berry Juice. On the base, uh, don't know how to read Vietnam bases, but I think this is the 281. Or is it? I don't know. I think it's the 281 day of 2021, or maybe. I'm a bit wrong. I don't know how to read Vietnam license plates. No, not Vietnam license plates, but Vietnam date stamps, I meant. So, Disney Pixar. Disney Pixar. Um, well, that can't. Alright. This is Disney Pixar made in Vietnam. Mattel. And some other Momo Jumbo. I don't know. I do not have any. Uh, I do not have the original Bubble Wheelhouse to compare, but we will be comparing to Lee Refkin's The Cars 1 Racer and Marcus Kranzler's The Cars 3 Racer. So, you had to run it. Uh, sorry for the cut. Um, I had to go do something, but what i was saying is that we'll be comparing it to the previous two racers i do not have the bubble husk again as i'm mentioning it again i don't know why why i'm mentioning it again but as you can see this one almost has the same ties as the cars one but i think this purple is way different than this one on camera it looks more like a pinkish purple than on camera so you may want to see this car in person to see for yourself but as you can see, the logos have evolved since 2006. Look at that. It originally had the, basically the container where it had the juice, which the Pissing Cup racers would usually use when they go into the pits sometimes. You can see the pitties holding it for their, so when they go back on the track, they won't have to feel tired. And they have that energy. 63 and 23 so meaning that it dropped 40 numbers since cars one black light your tires and it's the silver ones and then this one this design looks way better than this i, I don't know what it, it's just trying to keep it more simple for trying to keep it as closer to our times because everything has changed ever since 2006 and trying to keep it more simple okay the other side and the backs here hmm yeah I can see that's way more different but they do kind of keep that same purplish color now let's move on to the Cars 3 version which deviated from the Cars 1 version and and um, Lee Refkins was replaced by Marcus Kranzler in Cars 3. And there's a number change from 63 to 6 because that was Bubble Wheelhouse's original number before they had to switch it to 23 for the new NASCAR se season. Transbury Juice, this slogan here says let loose the juice. Which they got, they got rid of unfortunately for the for bubble wheelhouse as the regular next gen but this purple is way different than this purple right here on bubba or on this one on lee for sure number six this one's more of a realistic look of how the juice will look like it looks more like water or soap transberry they got rid of the juice part as you can see on the original 
Cars one eraser. Number six. Same thing on the other side. Really. And then transberry juice. And then transberry juice. Let loose the juice. Number six. Camera and no camera. So how the heck do they record the footage when they're inside the track to capture a good footage? Like, I really don't get that. I don't know how they would do it, but okay. So yeah, let's put it into the evolution of this company. So we have Cars 1, Leave Refkins, Marcus Granger, and then we're just going to put Bobo here. When, once I get a regular version of this guy, I will be reviewing it and comparing it to the NASCAR version. But let's set those aside now and let's see Bob Wheelhouse's um, pit stop barrier. So as you can see, it has the new logo, Chorkberry Juice, number, number 23, nothing inside because it's hollow, nothing on the other side. This is usually just meant for display for for the pit crews or any other team members, which Bubble Wheelhouse does not have any team members, literally. Like, there's no team members for, for any of the next gens besides Jackson Storm because they didn't release, the, they haven't released the other ones yet. So we're going to put it right here. We're going to have, of course, one over here, course three, stock card, the veteran, and then we're gonna have it's called uh, I forgot his name. Let me try to remember what it was. I keep forgetting this guy. Oh, Mike Stock Card. There you go. Mike Stock Card, the cars won't pity for Lee Refkins. There has been no team members for the veteran racers or the next gens besides Jackson Storm. So I hope Mattel decides to release some this year or they start making those team sets again, which I would really love those if Mattel could start making those again. That would be pretty amazing to say the least. But anyways, thank you guys all for watching. I hope you guys liked this video and check out my other video and check out the review of Lee Ruckins. And this was a Chinese version I got recently. The one that I reviewed was a Thailand version. I got a Chinese version because I really wanted a China version for sure. So that was a birthday request. So check out that video if you haven't done so already. And tell me in the comments, what is your favorite NASCAR um, racer from the line? Or some other ones that have been released. My favorite is obviously still um, Carson Eggs Dylan. I personally like him. But he is on my, he's on one of my favorites for sure. I hope I can get Roddy and Revin Bush and I hope I can review the, the 2022 stuff because I haven't found those yet. And I hope I do soon so I could do reviews on them and compare them to their original versions. But anyways, thank you guys all for watching. See you guys. Bye.